Okay, so we're back with a, another unboxing of Video Games Monthly. This is the March box. Uh, I think in the last month we mentioned that we were going to be upgrading to the 10-pack. Uh, we forgot to, and so we're still not quite upgraded yet, but we will be here soon. We are the 5-pack we have. Yeah, we have the 5-pack. Alright, yes, we got here. Okay traditional video game monthly card okay so apparently it says three up so let's go through our thing here that's pretty nice I was getting nice getting more things also yeah, right here we got a uh, first one here uh, they just added PlayStation games to the selection so we went online we added a bunch of our PlayStation games to our current uh, library and we selected that we'd like to receive them uh, I'm going to open it up here. I think the case is a little bit broke, but they said that it was always going to come with the case and manual, I think. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's get down here. It's in relatively good shape for an older place again. But Crash Bandicoot. Uh, we, uh, we played it once or twice when it first came out. We never really got into it. Uh, but it's, it's neat to finally own it, I guess. It's like... Uh, you know, one of the original PlayStation games that was really big. So, it's pretty neat to own it, finally. Okay, looks like we got ourselves another PlayStation game. Test Drive Off-Road. I feel like I've played this. Uh, let's see here. 4x4 vehicles, a Hummer. Uh, Chevy K1500. Jeep Wrangler and Land Rover Defender. Uh, I feel like I've played this. Uh, I don't really remember too much about it. I don't it was even that fun, but it's actually kind of neat to have. Uh, just because uh, racing games are always, like, surprising. Sometimes they're really, really fun. I don't know if you get the mood catches you right. Alright. Is that, that there? Uh, Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Now, this is strange. Because... Uh, I know I've seen people play this, but I can't honestly tell you what it, how you, how this game plays out. Even though I've seen videos of it and everything like that, and I may have even rented it, I still don't really remember what this plays like. Is it like a side scroller? No. I think so. Um, it says Spider Man X Men. I think you could choose between Spider Man and a couple X Men characters. Uh huh. Uh, it reminds me of like that Infinity Gem game. Uh, okay. Uh, or, or whatever it was. The, the, like that side scroll and beat em up game that was set in the Affinity Gems. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, that's neat. Uh, Arcade uh, is like this, one of the silliest uh, villains there is. Yeah, I mean, I always like uh, always like playing uh, these these uh, old Marvel games. They're always kind of fun, even if they're not very good. And so it'll be fun to play this. I have... Uh, it's not easily gotten out. I have a, a Super Nintendo game. I think it's pretty similar to this, and, and right down here in my case, that's below this thing. Well, that's neat to have. Uh, Dr. Mario for the Game Boy. We have it on the Nintendo, and it's neat to have it on the Game Boy now. And, uh, because this, this game, I don't like Tetris all that much, but I feel like Dr. Mario is a slightly better version of Tetris. Dr. Mario is a slightly better version of Tetris, and, uh... The mean bean machine is a slightly better version than Dr. Mario. Yeah, which I, I think is actually called Puyo Puyo or something like that. Uh, maybe. And, and Japan, I think we got a copy of that right here somewhere, too. Okay. Super RC Pro-Am. Now, I just said that uh, racing games are, you know, surprising. Sometimes they're pretty fun. I'm not sure how I feel about a racing game on the Game Boy, but it might be fun. Uh, I feel like it'd be like a, one of those uh, Tiger, uh, yeah, uh, Tiger Electronics game. Yeah, but it could be fun. It could be surprised. All right, so, so right here, Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance Three. Now this is a really good one to get. Uh, really surprised. And it's for the Game Boy Advance, which. Uh, it's pretty sweet. We don't have as many Game Boy Advance games as I would like, but we do have a few. We have a few pretty good ones. Uh, yeah, that's sweet. Uh, this is a nice, solid Game Boy Advance game. You really can't complain about that one at all because that's a really good game. Right there. 
And let's see here. Hmm. Iron Tank for SN uh, uh, for Nintendo by SNK. Uh, SNK makes a lot of good games. I, I actually don't know what this is. Uh, I'd like to check it out, but like almost any SNK game is great. Uh, mostly arcadey stuff, so it might be like an, I, I'm I'm picturing this is gonna be like a Kari Warrior. Probably, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think that's what it's gonna be like. Uh, okay, well, we got ourselves a couple swag items. A uh, nice uh, Super Mario uh, Brothers pencil, which is actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's really colorful. I actually like that a lot. And one of those uh, keychain finger skateboard things. That's a Super Mario one, also. Um,. As I was pulling these out, I was kind of counting them off in my head. Like I said, we, we have a, a five-pack box. And uh, the thing said, you know, it was a two-up card, and they crossed it out and put three. I think that may have been a mistake on their part. I think this one is, in fact, a two-up box and not a three-up box. Probably. But, you know, they, I'm not going to complain. I got two free games anyway. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, we had some really sweet ones with the... Uh... Yoshi's Island and the PlayStation games. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm really looking forward to testing out Spider-Man X-Men. And uh, if Iron Tank is good, if it is like Arcari Warriors, it could be really good. Especially if it is two-player also. That would be nice. I have absolutely no idea what Iron Tank is, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, so that was March box. Yep, March. And um, we will definitely be upgrading before the next box. But uh, yeah, it was a good box. Yep. See you next time.